The new Google Earth 5 has a Mars simulation in it, and I'm going to show it to you right here. This is really cool. So first of all, you go load up the new Google Earth 5 and look over at the little planet icon in the upper middle and click on that and you'll see a drop down and not only do you see Earth and Sky, but now the new Mars option. Choose that option and it now loads a new view. This is Mars. Instead of the Earth, it's Mars. It's not just an overlay of imagery over top of the Earth, but it's actually a Mars version of Google Earth. And over here you see layers for Mars and as you zoom in you can see that this is satellite imagery for Mars and you'll get more detail as you zoom in. So let's uh, start by zooming in on the biggest feature of Mars, Mons Olympus, the tallest volcano in the solar system. And um, we can also see the other three big volcanoes that are visible on the surface of Mars. And then Valeris Mineris, the biggest Grand Canyon in the solar system. It's three times bigger than the Grand Canyon on Earth. Let's zoom in and then tilt our view. And guess what? That's right. Mars is in 3D in Google Earth, just like the normal Earth is in 3D in Google Earth. And you can zoom around and pretend you're on the surface of Mars or flying around Mars. This is so cool. I mean, this is like exploring another planet from the comfort of your home. And they have satellite imagery, and you can zoom in and see details, the dunes of Mars. So check it out with Google Earth. I've got, I'm going to show a number of other cool features if you keep watching this video. So let's uh, zoom back out. And what we're going to do next is uh, show that you can see place marks and other information layered that show the locations of uh, uh, landings, uh, but also features of Mars. And you can type in and search for things like Mons Olympus, if you happen to know the name of locations on Mars. And uh, here we can zoom into the volcano. You see the huge caldera on the top. We're going to fly into that caldera. And uh, you'll notice these gray strips of imagery. Just like on Google Earth, you would see strips of satellite imagery. Well, this is satellite imagery from the Mars Reconnaissance Observatory, the high-rise imagery. And this high-rise imagery is really cool because it's as high resolution as the imagery you see in Google Earth. It's about a half meter per pixel resolution. So you can zoom in on the edge of this crater and keep zooming in and see all the little craters on the surface of Mars and keep zooming in and you can see here some dunes inside of a crater. Those little black spots would look like the size of a car on Earth, on Google Earth. So here's the inside of the caldera. Very cool. Now let's zoom back out and we'll look at the layers and on the left hand side you can open up the layer folder for the Mars Gallery and rovers and landers are seen. These are place marks to the different locations around Mars where landers have gone. And now I'm going to bring up the Opportunity Rover. That's that little robot that's been crawling around Mars for that went for over two years. And here we can see where the rover robot went all over the edge of this crater. And the crater has high rise, high resolution imagery, so you can see lots of detail for where it went, even down into the crater. And now, if you click on these little place marks, they're actually showing photos that the rover took. And these are panoramas that you can click on and fly into with the photo overlay feature of Google Earth. So now you can pan around and look at these high-resolution high panoramas in color that were taken by the rover. This is so cool. This is so eerie. It's like you're on the surface of Mars. And you can actually open up the places layer and get to this transparency slider and compare the 3D terrain behind the image and see how closely Google has matched the uh, photo to the underlying 3D. Very cool. Um, and uh, here we'll go look at another example. And what you can see is that these panorama images are actually very high resolution. So if we zoom in, you can actually see lots of detail. Like, look at these little rocks on the side of the cliff. Just amazing. So you definitely want to check this feature out with Google Earth. It's really fantastic. It's part of the new Google Earth 5.0. Just load up Mars. Thanks for listening.